Hey. Oh. Don't do that to me. I thought you'd be happy to see me. Well, yes, as much as I'm pleased that you picked me over some drunken blokes talking about tractors. Do you have to go back? I mean, what could actually be more important than me? Well, nothing, clearly, but, yeah, I've uh, got to go back. I'll okay. see you tonight, yeah? Mm-hmm. You've got blood. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I cut myself shaving. Well, you should be more careful. Yeah. Samson, I thought I told you to take your stuff upstairs. I can't bear the thought of Archie pin with him after this. You look knackered, why don't you go and get some kip? Don't you think I can sleep with this hanging over me? There's no hanging over you. I thought you said the, the test showed you'd not taken any drugs. Sam, I am up for possession with intent. They think I'm a dealer. Has Megan answered her phone? No. I mean, why couldn't she even give us a heads up? So stupid for trusting her. <sighs> Who's this? Can't you guess? Rachel Brackle. My name's Catherine Shields. I'm with Children's Social Care. Plum? Paddy? Come what? Now you're being silly. No, I'm still going for a pear. Oh, any particular reason why we're naming fruits? Oh, there's an app that tells you how big your baby is. Oh. Oh, no, we're all wrong. At 20 weeks, it's the size of a banana. banana. John used to be obsessed with how big Holly was getting. Although in those days we got it out of a book. Can I have a cappuccino, please? Yeah. Can you sit there? Fine. So, 20 weeks. Yeah. Means your scan must be coming up. Oh, yeah, Friday. Oh, right. Does Adam know? No. But it's not really something you want to be told on your honeymoon, is it? I'm on the back today. He'll want to know. 20 weeks, eh? So, have you got any cravings yet? Two of those as well. Thanks. I haven't seen Aaron for a bit. Right. It's uh, 7 90, please. Do you know where he is? No. I'm telling you, I've never seen those drugs before. I've been set up. Rachel, you've got to understand that's got nothing to do with me. All I'm here for yeah, is. Yeah, it's Archie. So you keep saying, but have you ever thought that in being with somebody who can plant drugs on people, well, that's not good for me either. Do you think Archie isn't safe with Jay? No. Then the best thing you can do Yeah, but is maybe... Maybe I should lie and say, yeah, because that's what he's doing to me. Rach, let her finish, will you? Sorry, you, you, you were saying yeah. the best thing she can do. While this is sorted out, it might be best to show that you're willing to put Archie first. And him staying with Jay is probably the most appropriate situation. These sweets are disgusting. I want my money back, shopkeeper. <laughs> I can hear you outside. <laughs> yeah, we haven't quite got the whole inside-outside voice thing sorted yet, have we? <laughs> Come on. I'll give you 25p. <laughs> oh, uh, I meant to say, I'm out with a client for dinner tonight, so I'm going to be late home. Right. No problem. You're in a good mood? Yeah. I had a conversation with social services. Apparently, I'm within my rights to refuse to give Archie back until the court hearing. Mm. Really? Yeah. This might be it. I might never have to give him back ever again. <laughs> never, eh? Go on, then. How much is that? Ten p. What's it like living with Carrie, then? It's fine. I mean, she does keep trying to get me to go out clubbing with her. <laughs> what can I get you, then? Uh, two teas, an orange juice and... The usual, please. I'll bring them over, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> get you. You've only been here a few weeks and you get... The usual. <laughs> what can I say? I work fast. Talking of which, who's that Tweedy gent in the pub? A bit posh. Sandy. Sandy. No. Smooth talker. Leather thingy. Rodney. Rodney. Really? Doesn't look like a Rodney. Looks more like a Hugo or Vincent. Uh, do you fancy Rodney? 
Well, I must admit I've always had a thing for well-turned-out men, which is a shame, cos I tend to be gay. Oh, he's not, is he? <sighs> no, it's kind of the opposite. Thing is, he, uh, well, he... Just go for younger women. Uh, Dad, no, he doesn't. George wasn't that much younger. I say go for it. In fact, we're going to set it up. Lunch in the pub. I'll tell him that you're one of Mum's single friends who fancies him. Blind eh? Do, th do those things actually work? Of course they do. Don't listen to him. What do you reckon? You think it's worth the well? You go for it. It could be a laugh. <sighs> oh, you never guess what happened to me in the pub yesterday. Oh, it's not so much to do with Andy, is it? Cos if you're going to start banging on about him, I'm swapping. Ouch! Oops! No chance I hear enough of that through the wall. Ow! Oops. Thank you, Kerry. Hey, brother boss. No, actually, it's nothing to do with Andy. I got asked out by Lawrence. Lawrence? <laughs> As in old, possibly gay Lawrence. Well, he's not that old. Well, she's got a point on the possibly gay, though. And you did suggest salsa dancing. <laughs> that you can scrub the possibly. Yeah, well, he's got kids, hasn't he? Can't be that gay. Maybe he's bi. Did they have bi's in them days? What do you mean, them days? He's not that old. What, so you're going to give it a go, then? No. I mean, he seems like a nice bloke, but... And he's minty. <sighs> but I don't really fancy him. I mean, there's no chemistry. Not like with me and Andy. Oh, God. It's early days, man, isn't it? Sometimes you just have to give these things a try. Mm -hmm. He's minted. Yeah, and... Might be a really good dancer. And he's minted. I brought some water. There's no one around. I checked. And that's why you chose here, wasn't it? Because it's private. One of Mum's single, attractive friends wanted to get to know you better. I'd say, uh, OK. Yeah, that's what I thought. Three o'clock in the pub. <sighs> so that's Rodney. He's really nice. And apparently he's like an antique student. Well, we're not in any rush, are we? Why don't we nip to the park for a bit? Why don't we go to the one in Dundee? You know, the one with the really big slide? Ooh. Let's not push it. We don't want to bump into Rachel. <laughs> Oi! Too late. Rachel! What else are you going to plant on me here? Get in the car now, Jay. But I don't need to make anything up, do I? Do I? Because eventually, everyone's going to find out the truth about you that you're a lying, evil little scumbag. This isn't helping. And what happened to you helping us, eh? Sorry. By the time I found out, it was too late. But this doesn't change anything. It makes it better. And why should I believe anything you say? Because right now, I'm your only hope. But we can't talk now. I'll meet you later. Come on. Listen to me. Listen. I was never going to let Paddy get hurt. I just wanted to scare him. So you said. And Katie. Katie was an accident. You killed her because she knew about us? No. You can't say being gay, so you kill people. I didn't kill her. A psychopath. No. Do you know the funniest thing is? You don't know the half of what I went through coming out, accepting it. Believe me, 
I've been there. I know how hard it is, but this... If you think a little bit of teenage angst is the same as what I'm going through, then you know nothing about me. This isn't about being gay. If this comes out, I lose everything. All I've worked for. So this is about money. That's so much better, isn't it? That's all you care about. <laughs> no. No. I wish that was all I cared about. You know, you see, it's you. You're the worst mistake I've ever made. Falling in love with you ruined everything. Finding Katie like that, having to talk my brother down from trying to kill himself and not being able to tell him the truth. This, now, doing this. Because you tried to trap me with that recording. All this is because of you. No. You did all this yourself. You know, I'm trying to explain myself. You're just not listening. Do you really think that I'm that selfish? I'm that psychotic that I would actually kill someone? Yeah. Let's find out, shall we? Sharp, Rodney. Yes, I'm a. <clears throat> I'm on a blind date. One of Lisa's friends. <laughs> Rodney, meet Johnny. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. I. I. I mean. That's... Hello. Hello, Rodney. I've heard all about you. Well, then you have me at a disadvantage. <laughs> Just how I like my men. Don't worry, Rodgers. She doesn't know everything. Ooh, that sounds ominous. What are you? A Colombian drug baron? An undercover cop? A playboy gigolo? <laughs> God, which one of those was right? <laughs> Shall we sit down? <clears throat> Welcome home, Mr and Mrs Barton. No, see, that still sounds weird. Keep thinking Myra stood behind me. <laughs> that space is way better than Sugden. Oi! <laughs> so, come on, then. How was New Key? Lawrence, sorry, um, is Robert about? I just need to talk to him about a farmer I know that's looking for a bailer. Uh, he's away at the AMCAS convention, I'm afraid. Is there anything I can help you with? No, it's fine. AMCAS? Is that the one at the hotel? Yeah, the, um, Yorkshire View. Mm. That's it. That's the one. Yeah. The farmer that I know that was looking for the bailer was talking about that. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Well, You've gone quiet. Have you nothing else to say? Yeah. You pathetic. Never mind that. How could you love me? When you let me go through all that with Katie. All that guilt. All that pain. You know you think I didn't feel any of that? No. No, well, you're wrong. I've told you. I've told you. I loved her once, and it was an accident. I was responsible. I had to watch her die. I was nothing. Nothing to witnessing what it did to Andy. Then you should have told him the truth. Well, the truth would kill him. And I only just saved him from going over that cliff. I've changed the record. The truth would kill him. And I'm not a killer. I never wanted any of this. No. 
So it wasn't just a tiny bit lucky that Katie fell. The one person that knew about us ended up with a broken neck. I didn't kill her. I can't admit, yeah, I didn't, I didn't confess the truth because I was scared. Perhaps you're right, perhaps that makes me a monster. I'm pathetic. OK, yeah, then I'm pathetic. I thought I could get away with it. <sighs> I saw Andy's face. And I'd, I'd, I'd realised what her dying meant. <laughs> I'd ruined my brother's life. No matter whatever else I did, I could never change that. And that's when I promised myself I would devote my life to supporting him, stop him suffering any more pain, whatever it took. lush then. Oh, it was crazy posh and we were right on the beach and we went surfing and I was well better than him. Oh, yeah, I had a dodgy board. You don't know what Aaron is, do you? He keeps going to voicemail. No, he must have gone walkabout because Paddy was in earlier asking after him. Are you going to tell him about the scan then? Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm. Just, well, there's no hurry, is there? No. Apart from the fact that Maury told you to tell him and if she finds out you haven't then she's going to be angry, but... <laughs> She's not scary, is she? <laughs> oh, Vanessa, go on. Will you, you tell him before someone else does, eh? He's in the loo. Been asking me how best to impress you. Right. Looks like Lawrence isn't the uh, only gent of a certain age looking to pull. Oh, I hate it when Dad cops off more than I do. Probably all the time. Right. Yes, I will go out with you. Oh, right. Great. Uh, when? What are you doing now? Um, nothing. I know this nice salsa bar. Right. Olé. Let's go. Let's. Well, you know, I, uh, I think this is going rather well. Well, you don't need to sound so surprised. Hey, you know, I feel I can say anything around you now, cos no matter what I have done in the past, nothing comes close to Hunter. You know, I still can't help feeling at a disadvantage here. <laughs> oh, telling her all your secrets, are you? Have you told her about Pervin After Girls, young enough to be his granddaughter on dodgy DVDs from Amsterdam? DVDs? Oh, yeah. It's not like he uses the internet like everyone else. Now, listen, Tracy. If you happen to be the sort of woman who chooses to make films like that, then you have to accept the consequences. Consequences? What, you mean, like, public shaming, burning at the stake? What do you mean, sort of woman? Well, obviously, no respectable woman. <laughs> respectable woman? What, you mean, like, you're a respectable man, eh, hunter? That's entirely different. Oh, why? Because well, I'm a woman. Well, for one, yes. <sighs> Ooh. Well, <laughs> thank you for preventing me from wasting any more time. See you at home. What? what? Now listen here. So come on then. You say you're not a killer. Be prepared to kill for this. You need to make your mind up. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Then I'll make it easy for you, shall I? Do it. Kill me. And you say that I'm a liar. What? You said you love me too, remember? You remember? So you were lying then. If you loved me, you won't put me in this position. <laughs> of course I don't love you. How could I? Just look at you. You disgust me. I wish.
wish I'd never met you. Whatever you've got better be good, because otherwise... I have got enough to put him in prison for a very long time. What? Ow! I haven't got all the details yet, but what I can tell you is Jay's admitted that he used to deal in drugs. It was a dealer. That's how he got the ones he planted on you. I've just got to prove the connection. Ow! I can't tell you. But I promise you, he is not going to get away with it. If we play this right, He's going to lose Archie, his money, everything. We're going to make him pay. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Damn it. I love you. We're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.